it all started with a man's passionate love for God, a passion that is so contagious. It then started with 15 students resulting to the waves of revival in PUP, Arroyo High School, and North Sagarai, Bulacan. For almost 44 years, this passion led to the transformation of countless souls in Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, and to the 70 countries of the world. Through the Jesus is Lord Church worldwide, the JL Church High River Chapter became a product of this passion that started in the heart of our beloved Bishop Brother Eddie C. Villanueva. Brother Eddie's raging passion, fire, and zeal for activism soon became a consuming passion for God, fire for the gospel, and the zeal for evangelism. With the church mission to bring all peoples to the kingdom of the living God, regardless of race, status, belief, and religious affiliation, through the saving, healing, delivering, and transforming power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Vision, a glorious church evangelizing and discipling Filipinos and all the peoples of the world through teaching, preaching, and living out the full gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. With the church core values, Passionate love for God, love and compassion for others, integrity, faithfulness, and excellence. As we celebrate the nine glorious years of the Lord's ministry in the home of the heartland, we also remember our church's humble beginnings. The rebuilding steps of the ministry started on December 26, 2012, being called to do missions on places where workers are needed to share the gospel. The Boho couple came to the empty church building for a key turnover and an entrusted task to Pastor Joe Boho to take charge as a coordinator in replanting the ministry. After weeks of preparation, prayer, and fasting, it was January 13, 2013, when the first worship service was held in the High River Church building. The service was made possible through God's guidance and the life of faithful volunteers and workers from JIL Calgary Chapters. On June 13, in High River, dozens of people are being airlifted by helicopter to safety. The town of High River was greatly affected by a massive flood wiping down houses and establishment. Challenging as it is, the work for evangelism and sharing the gospel to the lost has been the main goal. To the life of generous brethren who gladly open up their houses, home church services were held while the church building is being renovated. To the life of our first convert, Brother Barry Maruk, the JL Church in High River found its temporary home to welcome and accommodate people for fellowship and Sunday services. In October 2013, formal church services once again continued as the JL Harbor River 
had its reopening service after the flood at the Ramada Hotel in town. With the guidance of the jail worldwide leadership in West Canada operation, Reverend Dr. Amor Adela and Alberta II Provincial Pastor, Pastor Anna Marie Anada. The jail, however, through the life of our then appointed coordinator, now church pastor, Pastor Jock Poho, with the committed CMPs and workers, continued to carry on the task of evangelizing Filipinos and the people who are in need to hear the gospel of love and salvation. Throughout the years until today, committed workers and leaders who have undergone trainings and equipping seminars were raised up in specific ministries where their lives are used for God's glory. The church's mission of saturating the town of High River with the gospel of love and salvation continued to reach out people from the neighboring communities such as Ledbridge, Okotoks, Vulcan, Nanton, Turner Valley, and Black Diamond. Despite undergoing different oppositions in the later years, the Lord did not allow this ministry to be attacked again. The enemy meant it for evil, but our God is able and He can turn them for good. With God's wisdom and divine intervention, our church testimony was preserved. In the year 2020, the unprecedented pandemic caused by the COVID-19 impacted the lives of people. As cases of infected people rose up, health restrictions were implemented, including the limit of physical gatherings in places of worship. Our God is indeed working all things for the good of those who love Him and those who are called according to His purpose. Despite COVID restriction, the ministry continued to hold gatherings online for equipping seminars, prayer lines, land group networks, and even online worship and healing services. In the past year, the Lord's work continued to grow and many more people of different ages and backgrounds were reached. As we have declared a miraculous harvest, many more souls were able to hear the gospel, receive salvation, and became disciples of Christ. Today, as we celebrate the ninth year anniversary of the Jesus is Lord Church High River, let us continue to give thanks to our living God for consistently guiding and strengthening His church. This year, we declare a supernatural outpouring. As we step on to another year, let us look forward with so much hope and faith for more fruitful and glorious years of God's faithfulness to this ministry born from the very heart of God. Let us expect a year of great revival and strong spiritual awakening in the families and communities. From every individual lives transformed, countless miracles witnessed, personal encounters and the lost finding its way back home, to every triumphs and victories, in every step of the way, we will continually declare the Lord's goodness and guidance on this year and the years to come. Until eternity. Happy, blessed, and glorious ninth year anniversary. Jesus is Lord Church High River, declaring a supernatural outpouring. <laughs>